I'm Mark, this is Steve. Basically, our good friend Stu um, got diagnosed with kidney cancer just before Christmas. He had his kidney removed Tuesday and he's now been out of hospital for three days. He had a bit of a bad time after the operation, but before he went into hospital, we were talking to him about what his dream bike was when he was a kid. Basically, we still ride BMXs despite our advanced years. Um, and we still totally love BMX and everything about BMX. Stu um, has always really liked Eddie Fiola's GT Performer. It was all yellow with a few gold bits on it. So in the last couple of years, Eddie's come out with a bike called the EF Pro Performer, which is like a new school version of the GT Performer. It's totally new school design, but with a very retro vibe. And Stu has basically always said that he totally would love that bike. That's his like dream bike. About a month ago, Mark contacted you all of his friends and family to let him know what we were planning on doing and to see if we could raise the money for the frame, the forks and another few bits and pieces on it. So we wrote to Eddie Fiola and told him about Stu um, and basically Eddie and his manager Jeremy Moser just came back straight away and said that they would do the frame, forks and bars for cost price which was like amazing and that was a great starting point for us because then we had the frame, forks and bars more or less straight away. So we were hoping like initially to just get money for the frame and forks and the handlebars. We were thinking if we get that, that would be brilliant. But here's the amazing thing. We got even more money than that. We got enough money for the wheels and more and more money kept coming in. And we've now managed to get the whole bike. We've managed to get enough parts to build Stu's dream BMX. It's also amazing because it's January. Everybody's totally bloody skinned but so many people just wanted to donate, which is like so many people just really have, have got that much love for Stu that they just wanted to be a part of it. Even people who were on sick pay that know Stu still wanted to send like a tenner or, or 20 quid. It's been amazing. I feel like, you know, Bob Geldof with better hygiene. Well, originally I said, let's build the bike up and give it to him as a, as a bike, but one of the things that we really wanted to do was to give him something to focus on as he gets better and something to like distract his attention because uh, he's still in a lot of pain. So we thought if we give it, it was Steve's idea that if we gave it him in bits, he could just build it up like as he went along. So it's like a little project for him. Okay, so now it's, it's like three days since Stu's out of hospital. We haven't seen him since then. We're about to go around now, supposedly for a cup of tea. We've got no, like, no idea how he's gonna react. Hopefully, he'll be really chuffed. All right, dude, you covering all right? Just about it, yeah. 20 disciples. We've got, right, a little surprise for you. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a good surprise, so I've got to film it. Yeah. If that's cool. Yeah. Because there's other people involved with it who can't be here. Is that all right? Yes, I'm with you. Obviously, when you got your diagnosis and everything, it freaked us out loads and we were dead worried. And we were, me and Steve started talking about something that we could get for you and something that would occupy you a little bit as you were getting better. So. Me and Steve put a bit of money in and then we asked a few other people if they were up for putting a bit of money in and we got you this thing. How is that? Oh, it's like Christmas all over again. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> You've got to be fucking kidding me, dude. There you go. Wow. I'm in shock, I totally am in shock. I did always say when I was going. We uh, wrote to Eddie. Yeah. Eddie gave it to us at cost price. Under there, if you like, lift that out, it's like a sticker. It's fantastic. <laughs> this is the thing to do. One flying kidney. <laughs> wow. I'm just in total shock, I really am. Oh, you gotta give me a hug now. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. Squeeze your scar, man. They are in nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they are Eddie Fiola Commission Tufts. There's only 50 pairs in the world oh with black hubs, nine tooth cassette. You're worth it, kid. That's not all, though. <laughs> so we started asking people. We didn't ask for anybody. The amazing thing was everybody just wanted to do it. We thought maybe we'll get the frame. We thought yeah. maybe we'll get enough to just get the wheels. Yeah. Um, did he get himself, man? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, open that box. We've got a little bit more. Oh, 
Everything. It's a whole bike. It is everything. I'm there, I think I've gone as well. People donate to the stuff or the money or right. So me and Mark obviously put some in and sort of started it going, but we probably hadn't even got enough to get the frame and forks. Uh, without Fiola sort of doing us the deal that he did. But then you can see how many people there are. So Joe, Crumpton, uh, Andrew Quinn, Pauline Johnson, Andy Humphreys, yeah. uh, Carl Page, Chris Miller, Dale Payne, uh, John Barton, Dave Baker. So lots of people from the past as well as like present. Uh, Jamie Barton, Marv O'Brien, uh, Pete Newbold, Mike the Mike, uh, Philip Crumpton, Pete Hastelow, Susie King, Nathan Dudley, Janet Bunn, John Griffin, Dave Young, the Dave Young, yeah. uh, Steve Watkins, Andy Davis and Claire Tomlinson, Fred and Mary Thurman, Rich Breakwell, Craig Tracy, Lee Carlton, Nathan Carlton, Jodie Leanne Green, Julie Potts, Nathan Jackson, James Crossley, Catherine Stokes, <laughs> Phil Britton, Dean Smith, Joora Wood, Jenny Hallett, Jim Ritchie, Chris Pink, Dave Ridley, there's more, Michelle Edwards, Fiona Lambden, Elaine McQuaid, Paul Browning, Doug Crouch, Tracy Maguire, Matt Thompson, Derek Robson, Jane Hollis, Sharon Howard, Knee White, uh, J Tammy Turnbull, Sarah Allen, Lucy Shaw, Tamla Carpenter, Sandra and Jim Savage, Jan and Roy Keston, Claire Harnett Mann, Denise Harnett, Gaz Tuck, and then we've got loads of other bits and pieces from Scott Brummel, Scott Brummel did. Have a look in that tyre, dude. That's fantastic. So Scott, he did uh, one flying kidney dice valve caps. Yeah. Daisy Cross, she did design the uh, one flying kidney yeah. logos. Jay Wright, she anodised the levers, she anodised the brake calipers. Johnny at Flat Squirrel gave us loads of parts for a bit cheaper as well. That's not quite all. We know you don't like to ride tufts all the time. You've got a full set of spoke wheels there with a KHE free coaster. Hey Stu, Eddie Fiola here. Uh, you got some pretty cool friends, so I hope you like the bike. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Alright, take it easy. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Just one last little thing from me, Steve. <laughs> yeah, man. I have you back on it soon. I mean, you're not going to tell me we're devastated, were we? <laughs> Just be told at five if you got cancer, so I really thought I was going to die. I'd be back to do. You ain't dying, dude. In fact, you're going to do a fucking backflip. Yeah, <laughs> On that. <laughs> on that. that. You told someone like that and you think that's it, game over. Yeah. Game's, be game's just begun. But it's not, it's the start. Definitely. Yeah, man. We both said the same, innit? It's not the end, though, it's the beginning. Definitely. Yeah, We're all going. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to say anything to camera, dude, just to, to the people that just quick but message? Obviously, you'll contact everyone individually. Yeah, I mean, I'm, obviously, I'm in a bit of shock right now, but I'd just like to say I'm shocked really that I know so many people who think they're only first. And they just laugh, and they're just. I don't know. I really just know what to say at the moment. I'll definitely be in touch. <laughs>